Hey guys, how's it going? Today is Monday, December 26, 2022. Today, Pap and I are working at hauling the manure out of this stable in here in the barn. It's where we keep older cows, and whenever the cows are fresh, we keep them in here. And just to keep a closer eye on them, it's our pen pack pen. The rest of the barn's freestall. It's nice and comfortable for them in there on that pen pack compared to out here in the freestalls. Freestalls are comfortable, but they have to get on the concrete to go to the bunk and eat or go to the water troughs. In here, they can just eat feed while standing on the pen pack, and they have access to this water trough here. And the bull here, he thinks he needs to tear the gates down, don't you? Yeah, one more load, and then we'll tear them out. You can have the whole barn. Sound good? Hey, Al, we're using that two blind nitro 375RS, I believe the number is. Brand new, couple loads through it. We we're the first ones to rent it. Pat's out there spreading the load right now. We're also using the Gale skid loader. It's a vertical lift machine, but the new Holland reaches the spreader a lot better. It kind of reaches out further. This Gale, the boom just kind of reaches straight up. It still loads all right. Anyways, gotta hop back in the skid loader here, clean up around the edges, and then we can get this last load loaded up whenever Pap comes back. the stable cleaned out and it took four loads to get it cleaned out we're not done hauling manure here yet we have the freshening pen over here to clean out and then we also have that big pile down by the calf pens that also needs cleaned out so not done with the spreader yet my papa did some hauling up at the heifer farm oh we had a big pile he held like 20 some loads off of it or something he also cleaned the barns out up there so he held quite a bit of manure last week and then it got super cold this weekend. We had a wind chill of like negative 20. It was terrible. It wouldn't have been so cold if it wasn't for the wind, but I've never seen it that cold. The milkers were frozen in the parlor. 
and there was just a bunch of other stuff that was froze that I've never seen froze before. It was like crazy. It has warmed up some. It's probably in the 20s, close to 30 now. And it's a little more comfortable compared to you know negative 20. You gotta have your face covered up and everything because you get frostbite if you don't. But along with frozen water lines and stuff, this weekend we had the power takeoff go out on the 2090. We've been noticing it has been taking a lot of power to get the power takeoff to turn and breaking shear bolts and stuff. As soon as we put that 2290 on the mixer, I think turn it like nothing. So that's when we knew it was the tractor, not the mixer. So that thing's got to, have to get worked on again. It was just worked on last year. I don't know. It's that feed mixer's hard on it because we mix feed for the heifers and down here for the milking cows and stuff. It's just hard on a power takeoff. We also had fuel gel up on this new hole and skid loader. I got it going and then today we had some trouble with it but we have it down here. I assume we're gonna use it tomorrow to haul manure. I just wanted to use the gale in there because in that stable, the pen pack gets so packed with all that sawdust and stuff, and it gets hard to scoop with the new hauling because it's a little bit back end heavy. So whenever you curl the bucket down to go in to get a scoop, all the, all the weight's at the back end of the skid loader and just wants to pick up. There's not enough weight at the front to get that bucket to dig in, but the gale, it doesn't have no problem because it's a solid unit. So it just goes in there and you scoop it. Use this really thick blue grease and this stuff does not like cold weather. The pain to get squeezed into these pivot points here, but it's good grease. I used to use a red grease, it's called Wolf's Head. We were getting gypped with the grease tubes because they were only coming like half full. Then you go to put one in the grease gun and it'll be full air and it would take forever to get the grease gun to pump that stuff through. So we switched to, I think it's a Castrol uh, blue, uh, I'm not sure, I have to get a look at it, but it's just blue grease and it's really thick. So it stays in them pivot points for a lot longer compared to that thinner grease. Hey guys, it's the next morning here now. Pat and I, we're working at home in Oregon off this pile here down by behind the calf pens. So he just took a load out. We're hauling out over the hill from home here. So not too far away. We're loading with the new hauling today. I think I might actually go fire the tractor out. I might use it to load because it's a little bit icy down there. And I think it'll be a little bit faster to load with the tractor because it's got a bigger bucket on it. Spend a lot of time messing around with the skid loader if I can use something and get it done a little faster. Tractor's doing pretty decent. All that way at the park to spread her down further so I could get a straight on. Watching don't fall in the ice here. It's pretty icy down this lane. But we have to park the spreader down by the bags now. Because with a skid loader you can maneuver around a lot more with the tractor. You have to have a straight on, you know, pass coming towards it to get the spreader loaded right. So it's it's not working too bad. Probably takes about 10 minutes to load. But 
once I get some more manure out of here, I might be able to use the skid loader again, so that'll make things go a little bit quicker, but I don't mind loading with the tractor. I can actually reach to the middle of the spreader better because of the loader, it's just a little bit longer than a skid loader boom would be raised up. Yeah, we prefer the skid loaders over the loader tractor because they're quicker. You can turn on a dime with them compared to the tractor. You gotta back up, turn, back up, turn if you're, you know, loading from say the spreaders here and the piles over here vice versa you can't just back up and load you know you gotta turn around with a skid loader you can just turn around and load right away
got one load loaded up. Pap took it out to spread it. And then Dad took the tractor and loader. So he had to load up a load of corn fodder for up at the heifer farm. He's also got to bring a bale in to bed the shed up after we get this other load out. There's about, should be one more load here. Here comes Pap wheeling in on two wheels. Got the freshening pen all cleaned out. Got some corn fodder in there. And uh, give the ladies a nice place to have calves. So, yeah, after so long, the manure just kept getting built up and it was getting hard to clean out, but should clean it out more often because um, cows being fresh in there, there could be a disease in there growing in the manure and stuff. And then having calves, and then the calves could get that disease and make them sick. So I like to clean it out more often if we can. Lately we had a lot of cows fresh and this pen was pretty much full at all the time so it was kind of hard to keep it cleaned out but that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video smash those like and subscribe buttons down below. That really helps me out. Helps the channel. I well, wish everybody a happy new year and I guess I'll see you next year. Hopefully 2023. Treat you guys all well. Alright we'll see you guys. Have a good one.